We're visiting with Dr. Stephen Langer. He is the author of Solve the Riddle of Illness. And this is the fourth edition of this book. And Dr. Langer, let's talk about fertility and the thyroid. How does that all interplay? Well, as, as uh, most of the viewers may or may not be aware, I, I can't assume that they're aware, there's really an epidemic of infertility in is the, there really? In, 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 in the United States. I okay. mean, uh, for, for the past at least 10, 15 years that I know of, statistically, the, uh, the sper male sperm counts have been mm -hmm. going steadily down oh. for a variety of reasons. I mean, I can't tell you that I have all the answers to why, but I'm sure it has to do with, with, with environmental toxins and God knows pollutants and God knows what, what, what else is going on. But morphology, in other words, the cellular shape of, of sperm cells have, uh, you know, have, have been changing and, and uh, are frequently abnormal in, in, in couples who are infertile. Mm -hmm. uh, the ability of the sperm cells to, to migrate uh, are, are limited because of, of, of changes in, in, in cellular f structure and function. Uh, and and there, are, there, are a lot of, uh, there are a lot of female causes, but I mean, male causes are very often overlooked. Oh, I mean, really? You know, okay. in, in infertility workups, I mean, usually they'll, they'll look at a, at, at a woman's fallopian sure. tubes, they'll look at, you know, at, at, at hormonal imbalance, and these are, these are all valid things. The one thing that they don't look at initially is, is, is the thing that they should look at, which is the simplest thing, which is what's your nutritional state? Mm -hmm. And what's your hormone? What what you know? What what what's the state of your of your thyroid hormone? Because thyroid is I, as I, the mantra that I keep stating right. is the hormone produced by the thyroid controls the metabolism of, 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 of everything in your body. So even if you, even if you're paying attention to your nutrition, uh, if you, if your thyroid is off and you have subclinical low thyroid, you're not going to be absorbing your nutrients, and this is going to impact. Mm -hmm your reproductive cells because they are certainly the most sensitive to you know changes in you know in, in, in the nutritional environment and also changes in temperature etc we discussed off camera that uh, you know that in this country in the united states mm -hmm. up until i believe the mid the, the mid sixties if you went into an internist or a family general then family practice didn't exist in those days yes. there were general practitioners, practitioners. Right. it wasn't a specialty yet but couples who were infertile uh, were invariably put on low dose of thyroid because the, the, uh, the, the general practitioners just knew empirically that being put on the thyroid aided the, 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 the reproductive process. And then the, the, the tests became, uh, you know, de rigueur. In other words, you had to have an abnormal blood test to make a diagnosis. So uh, thyroid medication Mm -hmm. Which was, believe it or not, at one time in this country sold over the counter. It was a, <laughs> it was a, it was a non prescription drug, mm -hmm. and it was recalled by, by the FDA for a variety of reasons, made into a prescription drug. Mm -hmm. was not as readily given unless you had one of these high blood tests. But the bottom line of all of this is that if, if a couple is infertile, I'm not saying to not to see a reproductive gynecologist sure. or, or a reproductive specialist, but the first thing that you should look at is how is your nutritional status and what's your thyroid status look like. So a, a couple that's infertile, both male and female, would want to talk to somebody who is nutritionally savvy to mm -hmm. make sure that their, their, their dietary intake, their food, was, was was as good as they can get as far as, far as being nutrient dense food mm -hmm. and then to supplement that with the vitamins minerals and nutraceuticals that'll that'll augment what may or may not be in their food to begin with and then may a make absolutely certain that their thyroids uh, are, are functioning up, up to speed uh, by, by, by checking their thyroid with somebody who will treat them if they have subclinical low thyroid and frequently that's that that's all a couple needs in order to conceive now if that doesn't work clearly mm -hmm. go to the next step and get, get a sperm count and see the reproductive uh, gynecologist or biologist and find out if there's any pathology that would preclude mm -hmm. uh, you know becoming pregnant but very often it's it's the simple things that are overlooked they used to tell us if you hear hoofbeats, don't look for a zebra. <laughs> okay, well, thank you for that encouraging information, Dr. Langer.